the pink Mac here and I am doing a video today as you can see from the title on what's on my iPhone this video was requested so I thought this might be something people would enjoy so I recently just got a new iPhone case so I thought that this would be a really good time to do the video and I did just go through and like kind of clean up my apps um, trying to like throw them into files and things like that so it kind of be a little bit easier to organize so I'm just going to start and um, I'll show you first my phone case. Um, this phone case, if you can see, um, it actually is like a hot pink um, pair of like brass knuckles. It's not metal, it's plastic, so you cannot actually use it, but a lot of people have been complimenting me on it. Like a lot of people think it looks interesting. I got it for $5 at Five Below, so if you have a Five Below near you and you like this, um, go check out your store and see if you've got one. They came in a couple of different colors. I remember like silver and gold, and there may have been red and blue, um, maybe green. I can't remember all the colors, but I got hot pink because it's my favorite. So as you can see, I still have my iPhone 4, um, not a 4S in black. So that's the phone I've been using for like the last year, and I really love it, and I really don't need a new phone yet, so I'm just going to go with this. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to um, show you guys, I don't think you can see it on screen, so I'm just going to like really quickly just try to flash it, but I don't think you can see it. It might come up too bright. Um, it's my background, my uh, lock screen background that says, your dream do job does not exist, you must create it. And a lot of people always um, like that. I just found it, I feel like, on Pinterest, and I just took it and put it on my phone. So um, I'm not really, I don't think I'm going to be able to like show you my phone, like what's really on it. Um, it's probably going to like die and I won't see it. Um, and I don't think you can really focus. So I'm just going to run down what apps are on here. So um, I've got like the normal apps, my calendar, photos, reminders, my camera, videos, music, maps, clock, YouTube, app store. I have a file here that is basically like miscellaneous things that were on the phone that I don't really use, like the contacts, compass, voice memos, um, app store, weather, like things like that. I pull my weather down from the top when I need it, so I don't really go to the app. Um, I also have newsstand. I have nothing in my newsstand, although I do in my iPad. iBooks, Dropbox, Calculator, and Settings. That's on the first page. And on my bottom bar, I've got phone, mail, Safari, and messages. So then the second page, I've got IMDB, Zite, which is a um, kind of like Flipboard, and I also have Flipboard <laughs> right next to it. Um, they're basically, you know, sites that like aggregate articles um, based on your interests and your inputs for the um, app. I also have Instapaper, uh, Kobo, Kindle, and iBooks. I know iBooks is on the first page, but I've got like every book reading app you can have. And I have books like on every one of them too. It's weird. Um, I have Zinio, which is a digital magazine stand, kind of like newsstand, but it was really out before newsstand. And I, so I use that one. Um, I have plain text, which is like my, one of my favorite apps for writing. The Verge, which is a website, um, popular tech website, they've got an app. I have Flickr, Pandora, Evernote. Um, I've got a file here that says social. It's like social media. And inside of it, I don't know if you can see it, um, but I've got Twitter, Vine, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. I also have my Battle.net Authenticator for WoW. Well, I don't play WoW well anymore. Um, well, I could go back to it. It's not like I'm giving it up entirely, but I'm just not playing it right now but I have like the mobile key authenticator on my phone. Then I've got a little, like you might be able to see that little box and it's got all my phone things in it. So these are all my phone apps. Um, I've got Camera Plus, Vintique, Hipstamatic, Bocaful, TTV Basic, Capture 8mm. The TTV Basic, Capture and 8mm are all video. Oh no, not the TTV Basic, that's not. Just Capture and 8mm are video. Uh, Lumi, Pic Collage, Pic Frame, iPhoto, and Big Lens. And two apps I would just like mention real quick that I think it's worth getting is Big Lens and Camera Plus um, because those are actually really awesome. And maybe I'll make a video, but not enough time to go through uh, what's on there right now. So um, I also have Netflix. I don't really watch Netflix on here, but sometimes if me and my husband are trying to think of what we want to watch on Netflix, I go on my mobile Netflix and kind of just browse through and add it to my instant queue because our I... Um, or Apple TV. Um, it's kind of hard to search on the Apple TV, so I like to just have things added to the instant queue. Then the next page, I don't know if you can see it, I'm hoping you can, is eBay, Urban Spoon, Open Table, Zillow, 
Polyvore, Zen, uh, that's like a meditation app, Adobe Ideas, which I really don't use on here, um, I Am Plus, which is like a really great um, instant messaging. It's got like iChat, it's like Google Plus. Every, if there's like a Yahoo Messenger, every type of like messaging, text messaging at like application for like the computer, it's like makes it mobile in one program. Then I've got like another utilities folder with like literally again like things I don't use in it. Um, I've got two work apps that I need for my work car. I've got my Starbucks app, which is my favorite because I actually pay for my Starbucks on my phone and I think that's really fun. Um, I just got a free app from, I think it was from Starbucks, called Clear. Um, and it's kind of like a to-do list app. I haven't really been using it. Then I have two more files, um, Wallet and Emoticons. The Wallet app just kind of has like different things I've been thinking about maybe trying a couple of different apps that like maybe you put in like your information on your your personal card so if you ever like lose them you've got the information but I'm not exactly sure how I feel about putting that information on my phone and then the emoticons are just a couple of emoticon files and Google Maps which I just downloaded because my I drive around a lot for work and my GPS in my car um, lies to me sometimes or it can't find where I'm telling it to go so Google Maps is excellent so I use, kinda use that as like a backup. Then the last page I've just got one thing on there um, it's a games folder and the games I've got I'll show these to you if you can see them I've got Angry Birds Star Wars that I got for free on from Starbucks um, the Starbucks pick of the week is what I'm referencing when I say that Miss Pac-Man also I got from Starbucks. I have my Furby app, which so I can feed my Furby doll. That's the subject of another video. I have a app called Splodes, which is like my favorite. I think it's called Splode, but I think the app is called, the game is called Splodes. So it's like my favorite game. Then I've got Bejeweled, Zenbound 2, and a fireworks toy, because I just like fireworks. Yeah, so that is what's on my phone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm thinking about doing a iPhone case collection, so if you would like to see that video, let me know, and I'll put that together as well. Okay, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and um, I hope you guys can check out my new website. It's called strangecharmed.com. It's my Strange and Charmed blog website. Um, so it's www.strangecharmed.com, and I'll put it up here and you can follow me all over the internet at Miss Trenchcoat, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, just search Miss Trenchcoat. I'll also put it up here somewhere. Yep. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye.